That's what he said. He, he had been joking, yeah. right? <laughs> Alright, I'm ready when you are. everybody it is time for the hype episode 87 it's been a little while in the epic words of stained oh, dude, and we're bizarre. here to talk about lots of stuff today we've got 2019 bowman right around the corner so we're going to do a little preview of that talk about prospects talk about pro prospects that busted because there's a lot of them so we're also going to talk a little otani maybe a little wade dirk maybe a little magic johnson see right what's going on dude What's up, Doug and Dan? How are you today? We are doing great. How about you? How about Dan? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Bruh. Oh, <laughs> dude. We're Couldn't wait 20 seconds, dude. Like 15 seconds into it. Why? <laughs> dude, you look so much bigger than I do. Well, it's... Uh, Your camera's zoomed in. Mine's looks like I'm way the hell out there. Right. And uh, actually, we both got a floating TJ head yeah. behind us. <laughs> That's two different... It's two different people back What do you there. say, TJ? <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for joining us and uh, for those that are watching live we do have our podcast on itunes as well so you can listen to the audio version of this as well uh shout out and rest in peace to dwight clark this is episode 87 so giving a little tribute to uh the great dwight clark so we'll jump right into um otani transcendent we were there last week is why we didn't have a show we were at the uh, Otani Transcendent Party in L.A. It was at Angel Stadium on Wednesday, and uh, it was a short flight for us. Uh, what did you think about the event, Dan? Uh, what did you think about Anaheim, getting into the event, and all that other fun stuff? It's dope. So the way they did it, see, Tops always keeps you on your toes. You never know what to expect, ex expect when these uh, Transcendent Parties. You think that since you've been to you know, three of them, you know exactly how it's going to go down. Not the case, this one. We basically came in, um, the cocktail hour was actually in the Angels dugout. Mm -hmm. They had a little bar set up, uh, they took a picture of you on the field, um, they had a bunch of tops, like, signage going on in the, uh, in the, in the, on the actual, like, big screens and stuff like that, which was awesome, uh, you know, appetizers, all that good stuff, and then they brought us in for the, uh, little Q&A sesh with Otani where I accidentally stole Tom Fish's seat. Didn't know it was his. I Who's apologize. Tom Fish? Tom Fish, blowout card. Oh, okay. okay. So it was my bad. I apologized. I actually tried to give up my seat. Um, but uh, he refused to take it back. Well, you glossed over the fact that they had a full bar in the dugout. And when I got a drink from the bar in the dugout, I was like, well, it makes sense why they don't make the playoffs now. You know what I'm saying? They're going out there. I don't my, think my, I don't think that bar is there it, during the game. It looked permanent. No, nah, I, I think that's uh, I think it's like set up maybe for like protein shakes and Red Bulls. Mm. If, it, if they have the kale salads there, you'd been all. Well, set. yeah, I'd have been all all about it. But um, but uh, what else? What else we got? The uh, yeah, the Q and A. You're probably gonna talk about that. You have a little uh, little video. No, I don't have any video. No, you don't. You, you don't can. have you don't have a video. So maybe it didn't happen. Well, I'm technolo technologically challenged when it comes to the live version of the show, but uh, you can watch the videos of Otani being interviewed on YouTube. 
they actually went viral almost in Japan. I mean, we got you know all kinds of crazy uh, uh, comments and views from them. So you can watch the questionnaire. We got the front row because Dan gave uh, Tom Fish the boot and just said, you know what? Hey, you don't need these seats. We do. And so he he stole the seats from Tom. Um, actually, well, you you, know. you just sat down, and I was like, oh, I guess I'll sit here. And there was nothing on the seat. It was like his stuff is next to the seat. So I didn't, you know, it was my bad. It was my bad. I'm sorry, Tom. And another another kind of crazy thing about going backwards. Talk, I, I'm stuck on the dugout for some reason, maybe because there's Doug in the, in the word. But I had to use the restroom after a couple, you know, sodas, you know, a couple sodas. And uh, the restroom was right outside the dugout, and we were in the Angels dugout. And the interesting thing was is I went in there, and I tried to shut the door. It's a single stall bathroom, just a toilet. And the door wouldn't shut. I'm like trying to shut the door, and you know I'm not going to sell hot dogs, you know, during a, a tops event. So was that a baseball stadium? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, it's an appropriate time to sell it, it hot dogs. It would be, but it was it was a, it was a, you know it was a suit and tie event. So the guy outside there who works for Angel Stadium was like, "Oh, I'll wash the door for you. It doesn't shut." So I was confused at the fact that they just paid Trout 330 million dollars, but they couldn't figure out a way to shut the bathroom door. Okay, so how far was the toilet from the door? Uh, two feet. Why didn't you just stand by the door? No, no, no. It wasn't long enough. Try try to aim. Well, I, I, yeah, I've mastered the, like, you know, cover my back. uh, Or like, or like maybe try to put one leg up on the door. Yeah, I could have done that. I could have done that. But, um, yeah, I, uh, I was very surprised. Um, but I was talking to, I think it was actually Rich. I was telling Rich this story. Uh, Rich Layton, who went to the WWE Transcendent event. We should have had him on here to talk about that, but. He was saying maybe it's because uh, when guys strike out or something, they always use the bathroom, they just slam the door. You know, ah, you know, God damn it, I'm out again. And then maybe they break it all the time. Because of the, because of the lock on it? No, I mean like slamming it behind them because they, they, they're 0 for 4. Golden sombrero. Yeah, that makes sense. So maybe, maybe it's constantly getting fixed. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's what I took out of the event was the bathroom. So that was my most uh, memorable. That's a good moment. point. They don't want players juicing up. Oh, so they want to keep that. Hey, I didn't think about that. I fact. think that's actually a better point than having, you know, rage. Right. Strikeout out rage. Just you don't want to see some uh, some some needles going in some in some butt cheeks, you know. Well, Jose Canseco, you know, wasn't out there or anything, but that stadium has been there for a while. You know, there probably has been some shooting up going on in that bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, yeah. chill. Jose Canseco is a legend. Uh, he's trying to give Chris Davis batting lessons on Twitter. That guy's. <laughs> Uh, Jose Canseco's Twitter is a must follow. I mean, you know, it, it, it is. He doesn't use any punctuation, which is, uh, you know, I'm not the greatest, uh, you know, person on Twitter myself. But uh, he also just calls people out. Um, he has a podcast that I want to listen to. He has. A, it's called The Truth Hurts by Jose Canseco. I got to say, um, he's setting the bar so low going after Chris Davis. He's Owen and fit. Tim Tebow. Well, he already went after A Rod and said A Rod cheated on. No, A-Rod. I, yeah, I saw that. He, I mean, he is a he is an entertaining follow on Twitter. I, I agree with that. I don't usually agree with a lot of things you say. That's one. Yeah, <laughs> he's an entertaining tweet, <laughs> tweeter, Twitter, tweeter, tweeter, Twitter, Twitter. So yeah, for the event itself, they gave us uh, a fifty card set of Otani number to fifty, which has rookie all through the years. So they've done those at the transcendent events. Uh, we got a uh, Otani auto in our bag. And then we also got an, an Otani auto signed in person, which, you know, in, in a genius moment, I think it was one of the first slides here. I was We were first in line because we were front row because we kicked out Tom Fish. Got right in. Got right in. We were right up there. So I'm like, we got to ask him to sign in, in kanji. And, and he did. And I think there's only three of maybe two or three of them out there out of the 50 because there's two, there's two different versions, number to 25. So I don't know. I don't know how much it's worth. Kind of cool. Uh, he, he actually dropped mine and kicked it. And then the tops guys looked at me and they were like, Did, are you okay with that? And I'm like, and everybody's looking at me and I'm like, am I going to be that guy? Because maybe if they only had 50, then somebody's not getting one, right? So Yeah, I mean, when he, uh, when he dropped it, it, it made that sound. It's a, it's, a frame, it's a framed card. So everybody in line, I was like, oh, I'm like, you can hear that. You can hear that from, you know, the other side of the, the room. Then when he kind of kicked it, <laughs> it was like... <laughs> Yeah, but you know what? It actually was in great shape. Yeah, he was yeah. in great shape. Couldn't even tell. Yeah, and then later that night, after a few drinks, we played uh, football with it, <laughs> and it's still in good shape. It's crazy. We we're just throwing it around the hotel room and, and playing football. We did get the wrong size penny sleeves. Football like Kevin Hart. Yeah, <laughs> I do. I do. I do recall that we were getting wrong size pen, penny sleeves, mm-hmm. which I was like, damn. Yeah, they didn't have thick sleeves, so we were w- walking around. Uh, 
our cards were unprotected. <coughs> so I mean, he could have totally. Like Kevin Hart. My card, but you know what? My, my card could have caught an STD. The, I don't the know. The thing, <laughs> the thing is, is that I, what's the worst that can happen? He already kicked yours across the room. So yeah, exactly. Don't worry about it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's a memorable story, Ed. That's for sure. And then you, uh, we had like some bonus transcendent autos. I think I got uh, Nolan Ryan, a couple other things. Uh, the bag was cool, and they had Dan got a Chris Bryant. Chris uh, Bryant, Chris, thirteen draft. Chris Bryant in auto. his bag. I got two archives um, boxes and yeah, I, I won. I beat you, Doug. I beat Doug big time. Yeah, yeah, big time. Winner, winner, winner. Big time. They did give away uh, the Shoot. door, the door prizes they had. Now they did it different than they have the previous events where they only had i think the door prizes that you see there on that screen i think there's about seven door prizes yeah uh one of them was a mookie bets what color was it it was a uh, black wave mookie black bets. wave mookie bets nine five eight five eight five eight five eight five yeah so. it, my story is a lot better when you, <laughs> when you let me say nine five <laughs> it was uh, so Con- we I, you know seven. what i i think you were a little buzzed up it was a nine five it was a black label 10. 6.5. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but still, dope card. There was a Jeter, I think, a Jeter 101. Mm-hmm. That was... Uh, you can kind of see it in this picture. There was an Otani... I don't think it was a game-used jersey, but it was an Otani yep. uh, signed jersey. So and, five, five out of the 50 won some extra prizes. And Otani was... Uh, he was good. He, he basically spent about 20 minutes uh, taking questions and... Uh, you can tell that he's not comfortable speaking the language, but he understands everything. Yeah. Because he, he understood, I would say, most of the questions he understood. Yeah. He, uh, he, he, Trout, every time he would say Trout's name, he, he you know, he, he, would, he would smile and he would, he would understand. He, like, he likes, playing, uh, likes playing Fortnite. Yep. Uh, he doesn't really listen to music. No. Right, Doug? Doesn't know about BTS, apparently, either, um, which I was shocked, but, you know. I mean, <laughs> I had some liquid confidence. I asked him about uh, what kind of music he listens to, and he said he doesn't listen to music at all. And uh, and then you basically said that well, you look like you could be in the band. Yeah, BTS. And yeah. Um, I was more commenting <clears throat> on the fact that he kind of is a good-looking gentleman. Um, but at, at, after all, it was all said and done, and in, in, in reflection of it, oh, it, like, it, it was that was borderline racist. It was about down. three seconds later. I'm all yeah. I'm pretty sure that's like. That's a K-pop band, <laughs> but and, it was and, it was more of a out of respect that that's what you kind of look like, you know. So okay, <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm just digging myself a hole. Jeez. Hey, I will say the oh I will my say god, this. I meant he he's a nice looking guy, but I'm also <laughs> treading on the fact of oh uh, whatever, dude. You no, know. no, I will say this. Otani is <laughs> exactly. Otani is officially dead to me. He doesn't listen to music. What the hell? I know. Who the hell dude. doesn't listen to music? Oh man. Okay, next topic. Yeah, they... <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> but um, yeah. So so what did we have? Uh, we had a, we had a choice between sea bass and pork. Uh, short ribs. Mm-hmm. I went short ribs. Doug went short ribs. I actually don't know if anybody went sea bass. Did anybody order Korean barbecue? No. No. <laughs> it was just two options. Was Doug, two. Doug was Doug was hoping he figured he, he figured. His, Gotta be some Korean barbecue here, right? <laughs> I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna hold my head down now. <laughs> what else? We had uh, dessert. I didn't partake in dessert, but it looked like it was uh, ice cream. It was toppings. ice cream. Yeah, ice I was uh, too busy trying to get another drink, I think, and uh, trying to film this thing for my leg. So. What kind of ice cream? Uh, it, they had like a whole ice cream setup. I think there was a bunch of different flavors. It was probably green tea ice cream. <laughs> Mochi? <laughs> Mochi ice cream? Oh, man. Jeez. Green tea mochi? Dude. Green tea mochi. But, no, it was a great, it was a good classy event. Um, I was probably the, the most yeah, you're, classy <laughs> out, of the, out of the bunch. But, you know, I did, I was, I was dressed nice. So maybe, you know, it, uh, it came across, uh, how I intended it, not how it sounded. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, <laughs> we went. Was, we when we got there. I, see, I'm going to give everybody the details. Why not? Why not? So when we got there, we got right in, but we didn't. We actually the bus driver went into the wrong exit. Yeah, we had to walk. So we had a we had a walk, and uh, Clay said there was going to be beer on the walk, but there wasn't. 
But I think that was just to get me off the bus. Yeah, I think I think he actually looked right in your direction. I think he did. I think he looked at me. He's all he's all we got like water, and then he looked at me. He's all we got beer, and I'm like I'm I'm down to get off here. <laughs> not not so big not so big pop on the chat says so Shohei what is your favorite Hello Kitty character? <laughs> uh, that was actually I saw Doug's uh, Doug's notes <laughs> that and that was uh, that was on there and it was circled. And then crossed out. Oh yeah! yeah. After was, the BTS I was, comment, I, was, I saw. I saw he was like, oh, "I can't go with that one." <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. Um, on a serious note, though, gotta give a shout out to Kevin O'Neill. We uh, we ha- hung out with him a little bit afterwards, and uh, just a he's uh, VP of Sales for Tops, and just a, just an all around good guy that actually collects and is is interested in uh, trying to improve Tops' brand and um, doing his putting his best foot forward. Had, does a great job. Had some great. Great, uh, great comments, great jokes. We were just having a good time. Um, great dude, one of the best dudes. Fellow in, Irishman. One of the best dudes in the industry for sure. And uh, I'm glad he works for Tops. And really, really good event. And uh, was able to hang out with a lot of a lot of friends. Were actually there, and we were able to hang out with. So that was that was fun. And really, I mean, I think there was only about maybe 35, 35 people, maybe. Yeah, 35 out of the 50. 35 passes. out of the 50. Um, but yeah, I was able to. You know, again, steal Tom's uh, Tom's seat, get the best seat in the house, and yeah. uh, hang out with Adam, which was cool. Adam, Dave. Adam, Dave. Yeah, Adam, he'll Dave. He'll know what we're talking about. Dave, Adam. Um, but, yeah, and then once again, we got stiffed on a hotel room, so that's the only other thing I'm salty about. You know, maybe the front row made up for that. But um, second, second event in a row um, where we had passes, but we missed the deadline. And, you know, $25,000 product. We can't spring from a hotel room. I got to give whoever's in that office, and I'm not going to name the name, but they're, uh, they must be getting a bonus based on how much money they spend on hotel rooms over there because this is the second time in a row that they're like, sorry, we can't spring from a hotel room. It's like, well, you had 50 passes. You had to originally book 50 hotel rooms. Now, I know there's a cutoff for the block, but at some point, can you just call up the hotel and say, hey, we got another one to add. Just put it on top of the credit card here. So Put it on Madison Dearborn Partners credit card. We got a big, big, big customer that's buying our most expensive product. You know, they kind of turned it in late because they were possibly they didn't know who they're going to bring or what the dates were. So, you know, that's the only thing I'm I, my biggest complaint is, hey, you know, spring for a hotel room for us. So in, to- in Tops defense, even though the money came out of my pocket as well. So I don't even know why I'm defending Tops here. But uh, devil's advocate when it, when it comes to Mojo break deadline, deadlines are not really our thing. If you give us a deadline, there's a good chance we're probably going to miss it. And you could probably ask that across a lot of the industry people yeah you can ask distributors like hey if you were to give mojo break a deadline how do you think that would go down Eh, maybe 50 50 <laughs> so do. so i mean the the funny thing is that we made a big deal about it for the mike trout transcendent and then there was a conversation right then and there about the otani and we were like we have we have otani passes now i kind of thought we were doing our RSVP right then and there. Right. Let's hold those two those two rooms, which we only need one. So cuz we already committed, but I guess we didn't give like the actual RSVP. Yeah. So. And then what Okay, now I'm thinking about it too. And then what's the big deal about getting you guys a room, right? When um there's one guy who has like 50 passes. You know what I should have done? Right, they're already saving the, the, that money. I should have I should have just basically had a tops like shirt on and just slept in the lobby. <laughs> Just Angel Stadium, you're like, all right, I'm rolling out my, I'm, all, my I'm, sleeping bag. I'm here, for, I'm here for the Tops event, but I didn't get a room, so like, I'm here on the, lo- I'm here in like in the lobby bar now. Just- that's dude, that's a great <laughs> idea. That's what we should have done. I'm proving a point. <laughs> Just like lock our arms to like a couch or something, like uh, in protest. Get out, Tops. Well, I mean, the funny thing is, is that we probably wouldn't get a room, and we'd probably get arrested. Yeah. Then <laughs> so, so we would get a place to stay that night. <laughs> We would. We yeah. would. We would. Nice uh, free food, too. Hell free yeah. food. Yeah. Maybe, a, maybe a spork. Yeah. yeah. Maybe a spork maybe to a go. Spork. Maybe be able to keep it with you. Uh, well, yeah. Silvanair. Exactly. Oh, we would have been. <laughs> the, food ain't, the food in there ain't good, guys. I'll let you guys know that. The food in there? Damn the food it. where you guys wanted to go? No, we didn't want to go there. It ain't good. We, didn't we, just, wanna... we just needed a bed. <laughs> probably be sharing it with somebody. Little bunk beds? I know. I had, I'd have to sell, sell our Otani kanji just to make bail. I, I, don't, I don't know how you would sell it. 
<laughs> there, you're all, you're all, so do I get my uh, <laughs> I get my, do I get my phone in here so I can rock my eBay? <laughs> Accept offers, PayPal. So you said we send me cash, put it on my books. You gonna you gonna sell your kanji auto for some cup of noodles for a teardrop on my uh, face <laughs> tattoo? All right. Well, let's move on to Bowman. The checklist just came out, guys. I tried to compile as much as I could. We knew that Wander Franco, Joey Bart, Vlad Guerrero were in there, but they have the full list of names, and it's gonna be exciting. Um, Bowman is the number one selling baseball card. The first Bowman always is the most coveted. Um, you, you can just look at sales of any of these past guys. I mean, Mike Trout obviously put it in you know, perspective on a Super Fractor selling for $400,000. And you have Vlad's uh, first Bowman selling for thousands of dollars. You got Gorman selling for crazy. So we've got 2019 Bowman. Um, props to Japers on um, Blowout, who's kind of got the checklist and already put uh, which teams don't have any prospects, which teams have the most. So the team with the most is the Rays, and they have the best guy that everybody's chasing, which is Wander Franco. And Wander Franco currently is ranked 13th on the top 100, uh, top 100 prospect list. So he's going to be in demand. This is the guy that everybody's going after early. Something to consider with him is that he's 18 years old, so it is going to probably be a project. It's going to be a two- to three-year project before he gets called up. Uh, he batted 351 last year. He's off to a little bit slow of a start this year, but um, he, he's he's the number one guy that doesn't have a Bowman card right now based on rankings. So it's going to get everybody's nipples hard, and everybody's going to be bidding on these cards Ooh. and buying the Rays in breaks because um, they're the first team off the board on our breaks. Every time we've posted a, 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 a Bowman, the Rays are gone. So And then my man Joey Bart, which I'm excited for because Joey Bart, I don't think the Giants have had – a, a coveted prospect since we've been ripping Bowman since maybe Brandon Belt, which wasn't even a coveted prospect at the time. He was just first auto. I got a I got a question. Is there a another minor league player who's been in the been in the league for a little while named Wander Franco? No. Are you are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Cause wouldn't that be crazy if there's another Wander Franco and then those cards start selling for a crazy amount? Oh, uh, by accident. By accident. Kind of like um. Who was the guy for the A's? And then there was an Astro. Or no, it was uh, the guy, the Giants, uh, the guy that you hated, the third baseman, Matt Duffy. Matt du- oh, yeah, there, there was, was another. Matt, there was two Matt Duffies. Yeah, I, actually, I think the other Matt Duffy was a better I Matt think there's Duffy. a Wander Javier, right? Wander Javier, I'm thinking. Wandy, Wander Javier Franco? Wander <laughs> Javier Franco. But, um, yeah, Bart's in San Jose, which I'm actually may go. I got free tickets on Thursday. I'm going to go see Joey and so, swing in the stick. You got free tickets? Yeah. How'd you get them? Oh, I just just found them. <laughs> just just they you, paid me to go. Did no. you go to you go to Rotten Robbie or something? No, it was actually at the Giant Store at Oak Ridge, and they had the tickets. They're just like they're yeah, all please, they're all please go take them all. But Joey Bart and uh, Joey Bart, uh, unlike Wander, Joey Bart's twenty two, so I don't think there's as much long of a path as him to get to the majors as Wander will be. Um, he batted two ninety four last year with thirteen home runs in his first uh, you know major league well minor league action. So uh, those are going to be the two guys coming out of the gate that are going to be the, probably the top names in this the product. The Wander Franco and the San Francisco Giants organization. There's three Wander Francos. Oh, Jesus Christ. There's three Wander Francos. One of them is a Giants. One of them is a Giants. I told you. See, and that's why I'm here. I come here with the knowledge and I break it down. So now the Wander Franco for the Giants is going to be going through the roof <laughs> just based on name. Just by accidental bids. Because no lot, returns. Some no returns. Them, some of them are going to be minor league cards. So... A lot of a lot of collectors will not know the difference. Uh, Bart is a catcher, so yeah, that's why I failed to mention. Bart is a catcher, and uh, I mean Posey can't hit the broadside of a barn right now. So hopefully they can move Posey somewhere else in the field. Should have just and, sold and, your blue Bart, draft for like I mean, fifty bucks. I'm ready to say let's just bring Joey Bart up now. I mean let's just see what he could do. I mean he's 22. I mean you know what I'm saying. Let's so it's just ruin, it, ruin his confidence. Yes, let me yeah, see just... what's going on. Um, and and I'm glad Max brought it up in the chat. It's a guy that I I have up here. So the Marlins, they've got Victor Victor Mesa and Victor Mesa Jr. So, but the one guy's card just says Victor Victor, and the other one says Victor Mesa Jr. And yeah, they're, are you brothers? Yes. Oh man. Are they on the same team? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> Victor Victor and Victor. I like it. So and they have they they probably don't know which player they meant to sign, so they just signed both of them. <laughs> <laughs> they're like one of, the scouts were out there. They're like one of those victors is good. Let's they're all. They're all. One of them was like killing it, and they're all. Which one? They're all. I don't know. The scouting report actually has it. Little maybe. I don't know. We're, just sign both of them. Victor Victor Mesa and Victor Mesa Jr. Yeah, that's great. That's 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 gonna be fun. Victor Victor Mesa. 
But I believe his cards on the checklist just say Victor Victor. And then the other one's Victor Mesa Jr. So I like Henry Henry. We got some great names coming out. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It just gets better. You got Lil Jordan, Lil Jordan Humphreys out of Prism Draft. I mean, treat, I mean, with a great auto, too. <laughs> Birth certificates were two for one that day. <laughs> I, you know, sometimes. Are they, I, are they twins? Are, they look like the same age. I don't know. Hey, uh, John in the back over there. Maybe he can he can, he can Google a Google machine for us and see what the I age difference is. We don't know. We don't, there's no Johnny works here. <laughs> well, I'm protecting the name of the innocents, you know, here. So, but, uh, so the, they're in moment as well. There's another guy that I just, I thought his name was awesome. So, uh, Blaze Alexander, uh, you know, just based on name alone. Um, it's, a good Bla- it's, a good, it's a good band. It's a good band. Blaze? No, FTB. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So obviously a minor league uh, uh, thing going on, but Blaze Alexander is uh, is in there as well, and uh, there's a whole slew now. Casey Myers is back in there, and Alec Baum is back in there as well, which is kind of weird to me. I know they've done this in the past, but these guys have already had first Bowmans, and now they're in actually the following Bowman release. What do you think about that? Do you think the top should have that, or they should wait to to bring these guys back in the fold? We just had their first Bowmans. Well, we don't know what the contract that they signed. Maybe it was for X amount of cards, and they're like, "Let's, let's get, let, let's fill, let's fulfill the contract right now." Might as well. They need maybe they need content. Maybe they. I don't know. Well, but, I think you know. I mean, so you're gonna have technically two prospect autos of the same guys, right? But the, but one of them is gonna be a first Bowman, and one of them is just gonna be the second Bowman, right? Bowman <laughs> Bowman Bowman Junior. <laughs> Bowman Mini. Bowman Bowman. <laughs> well, that's the thing, right? So so Vladimir Guerrero t- is, is also – his Bowman's going to sell well, but it's obviously not going to be comparable to the 2016 Bowman Chrome. So if you pull a Vladimir Guerrero Bowman, you're going to be like, eh, I'm going to throw it away. You know, it's not yeah, that. I'm, you're I'm, all, no. you're all, you don't want this one. No, no. I'm, I'm just, why would I want a second one? I'm just going to I'm just gonna toss in the garbage, dude. You know what I mean? But no. So Vladimir I mean, Guerrero's I think, in there. I think ideally what I would like to see is across the board you have the first Bowman auto. And then the next Chrome Auto is when they make their Major League debut and it has the rookie card logo. Yeah. That's what I like to see. Yeah. Yeah, I like to do that too. But I think what happens, this is my, I don't know for sure, uh, your, your, in, your insight? My, no, your, no. This your is, this your, is, your is, insight uh, to, to what's going on this is, what, this is what was being talked about at the uh, Transcendent Party? No, not at all. It's okay. just the hamsters uh, you know, running in my head and it's just producing thoughts. You got a hamster in your head? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's how my brain works. Um, <laughs> that they have these guys sign another year of cards and then if they're short on the checklist they could insert it in so for 2019 bowman if they need extra guys they got the alec bomb and they've got these guys well and it's guy, it's guys who have value it's guys who are top right. draft picks so you're i mean you pull a casey mize you shouldn't be bummed he is a the first overall pick right and if they had some guys that turned in their autos already See, that's the beauty of Bowman is they can just throw it in Chrome. It's the same design. I thought you were going to say throw it away. No, well, no, I thought you could just throw it away. Just throw it away. So if they get to Bowman Chrome and say they had uh, Jared Kalenic's autos, they could be like, okay, we're going to put them in Bowman Chrome because we don't have enough. So they, they can probably use that to kind of you know make sure that there's enough autographs in the product by having these guys like have these second autos signed. Well, I mean, by you're not going to sit down with Alec Baum and have him sign autos and just be like, yeah, we're not going to be able to use them. Right. That you're going to figure out a, a way to use the inventory. Right, exactly. Why not add value to Bowman? Bowman needs more value, right? Does it it yeah. does. It needs more value. And at the price it's at, it needs more value. It needs all the value it can get. It does. It's it gonna, does. It's going to be $1,000 a box. So there is um, there's obviously Eloy's in there as well. So you got Eloy, uh, Jimenez, Autos. Ooh. Oh, and uh, oh, by the way, if you guys, Ooh, why you we... guys were talking about it, you thinking about ordering some Bowman? C-Rad just put the code up on the screen. Oh, I don't know. He just created this code just trying to sell some teams for you guys. I mean, this is going to sell itself anyway. But if you guys want to save 15% off, you can use code 19 Bowman on um, any of the Bowman breaks that are PYT. It has to be pick, pick your team, which that's all we have on the site right now anyway. But if you use code 19 Bowman, you can get 15% off. And there's no limit. If you want to just buy out you know, 10, 20 teams, prospect, go crazy. Go ahead and do that, and it's a flash sale. I'm probably gonna end that. I'm gonna end that bad boy tomorrow. So make sure you get in on this. If you're listening to the podcast, get in. If you're gonna get in on Bowman and save big, and um, I, I pre-price some of these teams without a checklist. So there's there may be some just good deals out there, and then you just use 15 percent, and it's an even better deal. So a little shoe came up, you know. So 
That is incredible. That's, you know, coming from Jim Rome. Exactly. Is that Jim Rome? That was. Um, so then, speaking of tops and, uh, you know, dissecting some of the checklists, uh, th- this came out. I thought this was kind of interesting. So tops tweeted this out. Who is the tops baseball mystery B redemption? Here he is. Uh, Fernando Tatis. Yeah. Yeah. Mystery B. And then they came out five minutes later with this tweet. My bad. And they said, oops, please disregard that tweet. It was set in air and contained wrong information. So, Whoa, you know what that means? So right away... You know what that means? That he's A? I don't he's think a. so. No, I think he's last, A. No, you think so? No, I think he's A. Okay, so A is probably him. I think he is. So then there's a couple guys that jumped on the tweet. This guy right here, which I don't know why he would have paid this much. He was like, can you refund the $900 I just dropped on Mystery Player Redemption purchased on eBay because of it? No. I'm like... Do those really go for 900 bucks? What's the gif underneath? Is that a guy slamming a computer slamming, on it? Slamming a computer, nice. yeah. Nice. So then they came out, and they, they obviously corrected it, and it's uh, Eloy Jimenez. How much you want to bet me that Tatis is mystery player A? Why would they do that? I, how much you want to bet me? I'll bet you 100 bucks. It's gonna be, I think it's going to be flat, Vlad. They're waiting for Vlad. They're waiting for the moment they can name Vlad. Mm. I think B was going to be between Eloy and Tatis. That's my thought. What do you guys think? Do you guys think mystery player A? I think there's a deadline. I think if Vlad doesn't make his debut in the next, like, three weeks to a month, then they're going to roll out with Tatis. <laughs> they're going to roll out with Tatis if, yeah. if, in a couple if, weeks. If a co- in a couple weeks. Yeah, if Vlad, I mean, Vlad's already playing again, right, according to his agent. Who, who runs he's the, playing, the but he's in, he's in the minors, dude. Yeah. He's in the minors. Back to writing jokes and getting paid for it. Thanks, fellas. Think Blaze Alexander was stoned in that pick? <laughs> he he kind of did look like it. I mean, with the name Blaze, I don't know if you can take him seriously. You got to probably always think he's stoned. He plays for Arizona, so uh, we'll see if he makes it up. Shortstop over there in Arizona. But um, waiting for him to toss more ar- uh, cards in the box, long arms, Mike says. Yep, that was uh, that was Vlad Jr. Just, you know, he's getting work done, throwing him in the box. Man, dude, I, I must be... Uh... I'm not even getting the comments anymore, man. So what do you guys think? Other than guys that we've talked about for Bowman, what guys do you like that are on the checklist? What are you chasing? Is there You guys got some PC guys that you're into that you're going to chase? Because, um, you know, I'm, obviously I'm going to try to get Joey Bart. It's going to be expensive. I'm going to try to get Joey Bart. Um, I'm looking at some of my other Giants guys on the checklist. And you can find the checklist at uh, Tops currently. And... Um, Blowout also has, uh, if you follow this blowout thread, somebody posted the Excel version of it, so you can actually sort it. Um, I'm sure Group Break Checklist will have it done here soon as well. Um, but I'm looking at some of the notable guys. I mean, Chris Bryant has some 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 autos in there. Uh, another guy I didn't mention, Nick Madrigal has an auto in there too, second Bowman. Uh, Eloy Jimenez, of course, what we mentioned. Um there's a lot of guys we haven't heard of, but we will get to know and love them. And the beauty of Bowman is just getting these guys and watching, watching the market take to him, watching this guy hit two home runs in single A, and now his cards are through the roof, and everybody's going after him and chasing him. And there was so. a, there was a time where Ronald Acuna wasn't one of the main guys that you no. were looking for. There, no. Juan Soto was yeah. was one, not one of the main guys you were looking for. So. Uh, yeah, you never you never know with some of these really really young prospects. So that's uh, like you said, that's and I, I mean the way prospecting is right now, I've never seen the secondary market on fire no. as yeah, much as crazy. it is right now. So uh, I usually was I, I would usually tell you I'm like, hey, like a day or two after Bowman releases, swoop up all the guys who nobody's ever heard of. Yeah. Uh, just in case you never know not a bad idea at all i don't know if that's going to be an option anymore i think everybody is going to be priced high it yeah. doesn't even matter i mean i it's crazy it's crazy what every prospect is going for now yep and the the mariners also have you say uh kikuchi which i don't know if i'm saying that correctly but i know that people love him and uh he's had redemptions and other products we'll see if he's live uh, Max mentioned uh, Luciano for the Giants, which is another guy I'm probably going to chase. i got to do some research on him. Marco Luciano, number one international prospect for the Giants. So there's just a lot of stuff in this. And um, like Dan was just alluding to, the, I mean, this prospect market is crazy. And I, I think what set this whole thing off was the fact that it became real when Trout Trout's Auto sold for $400,000. It made the dream a reality in a sense that you can hit big, you can hold on to this card, and he can become the next Mike Trout, and you can get a card, you can get a guy, and it could be worth this much. I mean, he's seen it with Vlad. I'm sure people 
pay, paid a couple hundred dollars for Vlad, and now they're a thousand. You know, you've got uh, Korea and stuff like that. But I wanted to look at the other side of the coin here and how many failures there was. How many baseball busts there's been over the years. Because there's more busts than there is Mike Trout's no. or Chris Bryant's. No. I mean, <laughs> you think about the sure percentage, it'll actually discourage you. The sure percentage of guys that are busts compared to are guys we gonna, that are Are we going to basically have people, they're going to quit collecting after this segment? No, no, I'm just... Is that is that the goal? You're, Doug's trying to take down the... Uh, the whole the whole prospect in industry in one just, segment just for me no but I, what I'm saying is is I, I wanted to look at these because when is the right time to sell because there's obviously a peak Vla, Vladimir Guerrero Juan Soto Ronald Acuna they're all not going to sell for their prices now one of them may go up and the other two may go down they all three may go down so picking the right time to buy or sell is key unless you're of course you know a huge Acuna fan it doesn't matter to you but I was just looking at it over the years, and there were some guys in the Bowman era, right? Delman Young, first overall pick for the Rays. I think, wasn't he known for flipping a bat backwards? When and he it, had and a hit, brother, and hit, yeah. And it, like, hit the umpire? Uh, I think so. It was either him or his he, like, brother. Struck, he struck out, and he was walking back to the dugout, and he, like, flipped the bat, and it, and it, yeah. and it hit the umpire. Yeah. End over end. Yeah. yeah. Was, it, was that Delman Young? It was either Delman Young or there was another brother. So it could have been Delman. Maybe you guys in the chat remember. Is, Del, is Delman Young the, 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 ump, the ump hitter with the bat? So Delman Young, first overall pick. You can get So, his, yeah, I mean, he's fam- if that's him, he's famous for hitting the umpire with the bat. So, you know, he's not a bust. But, but, but what you could imagine is, I mean, we didn't have group breaks. We didn't have eBay wasn't as big back in 2003. But I'm sure some of these first moments of the first overall pick were probably selling for three, four, five hundred bucks. Are we going to go Brian Taylor? I, I, you know, I didn't have him on there, but I did see his name. Um, I've got a few other ones that I just pulled out. Uh, J.D. Drew. J.D. Drew. Oh, J.D. Drew is a good ball player. Yeah, but he, he was a good. He was a good ball player. Yeah. He was. He was good. I mean, there has to be guys on this list that are worse than J.D. Drew. J.D. Drew, but he just he he was like during this time he was his name was huge. This was right before you know oh one with with pool holes and you know this this guy was. The, 2000 he, he was, was he was a new generation of baseball he players. was good doesn't doesn't he have a brother steven drew yeah steven drew. yeah 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 steven drew but jd drew is good yeah matt bush matt bush another he, first overall pick but he's he's in the league now yeah he made he's a resurgence a hitter, yeah. he, he, no no he's back as a pitcher he's a reliever is he okay. he was with the rangers that's right because um, he was out of the league for like 10 years yeah he like oh, abuse? yeah it was a little while he, okay. i think he served some time but and guys go ahead and keep naming some in the chat yeah mark appell now, Mark Appel is an interesting one because Mark Appel got drafted for the, by the Pirates in, I believe, 11. And then he, and, he didn't and, sign. And he didn't sign. Scott Boris. And then went back, got picked first overall first for, the over, for the Astros. Astros. Yep. And uh, just never amounted to anything. Then he, he was traded to the Phillies, mm-hmm. and he couldn't get out of the Phillies farm system. And he retired about two years ago. And the reason why I know so much about Mark Appel is that he, was my, he was my PC guy, and he was a big power throwing lefty that was like i mean he was a surefire top of the rotation ace 20 game winner and he just couldn't figure it out yeah yeah i mean it's mental i think when it gets to this level uh we got todd van poppel yep you yeah, know and it probably wasn't really necessarily bowman era that was he, what that was like 80 was that 89 no 90? van poppel i think was 91 or 92 okay and uh i think he came up in the a's organization but he ended up having a career. I think he went to the Blue Jays, and I and I think he pitched. If I he may have won a World Series with the Blue Jays, Van Poppel, yeah. possibly. And Brian Bullington, long arms. Who did he get drafted by? Worst number one pick ever. And what who? year was that? Brian Bullington is Appel the Emanion of baseball. <laughs> possible. Well, Man- I, Manion I, didn't have any hype coming out. Still doesn't I'll have still, any hype. I'll still collect. Uh, if anybody's got any Mark Appel, I'll, I'm a buyer. I'm still a buyer. Byron Buxton is, is the verdict. I mean, is Byron Buxton still has a shot, right? He had a good spring. I think he's got a good start to the season. Um, problem with Buxton, he is, won a Gold Glove. Yeah, but why, uh, why yeah. are we like it, we're, we need? There has to be guys who just have never made it. Well, there. I'm sure there is. We're talking about guy like guy is in the league right now. He won a Gold Glove. We're calling him a bust. Well, could for, you win a Gold ca- Glove? <laughs> no, but for cards. Do you, I mean, Brian Bocock is the same thing as, as Brian Bocock he, he with a glove. Brian Bocock was a, like a 37th rounder. But Byron Buxton <laughs> batted like 150 last year. 
He batted one. He batted worse than Madison Bumgarner as a pitcher. He batted worse than. But he won a Gold Glove. So, but if you can't hit, what is a batter? He's a tool. He's got one tool. <laughs> Oh, Pirates of 2002, huh? Brian Bullington. Now, yeah, I could honestly say I don't know how. I've, I've never heard of him. First overall pick. So must have busted really quick because I never even heard of, uh, of him. But So what do we consider a bust? Somebody who comes, who's a, like basically a first pick who doesn't become an all-star? First pick who doesn't. What is, what is? No, I mean, I think anybody in the, like, I'm thinking more in the Bowman era in terms of cards, right? So you you get a, you get collectors that are jumping on this guy's bandwagon. Cards go. Way, okay, how about way how about uh, how about Java Chamberlain? Yeah, Java Chamberlain's another one. Okay, I, you know, um, I just had one. I was just thinking of somebody mentioned Brady Aiken in the chat. He had he had Dustin some, Ackley. Dustin Ackley, yeah. I don't know if his card sold sold crazy. Um, Rosny Castillo, right? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Dice K Matsuzaka. Had huge hype. That was before us, but that was in like 07. Dice K was Otani before Otani, really. And, that, and that's what makes me Don worry about Otani. Donovan Tate? Donovan Tate, yep. And uh, Donovan Tate. Oh, actually, uh, uh. Did you hear about Donovan Tate, quarter, by the way? Quarterback. Quarter, yeah. qu uh, no, not, not. I'm. No, Donovan Tate was that did I Did I actually just come up? I had no idea. I was talking about Bubba Starling, the yeah. quarter, like quarterback from. Yeah. Uh, Bubba Starling was another bust, uh, but got five million dollar payoff to go to the Royals to skip college. Ooh, ooh! I got one for the Giants, Gary Brown. Yeah, Gary Brown's big bust. Gary Brown. Uh, um, no, Christian Do Colon. Donovan Tate was drafted in two thousand nine by the Padres, and he had for, for weed. He got busted for weed, and uh, he actually went back to Arizona Wildcats, and he was their quarterback in two thousand seventeen. Nice. So, I, so he's coming obviously, out. Obviously, gonna be gonna be an NFL quarterback. No, he's uh, that same year he left Arizona to be closer to his family in Georgia. So obviously, it wasn't gonna work. Isn't work for isn't him. Tim Beckham doing really well right now? Yeah, but he's not his prices right. So 2008 was when he came out. Now Leaf signed him to exclusive. Brian Gray and Razor signed him to exclusive, which probably Brian Gray uh, will probably tell you those probably one of his worst moves. Ever. I mean, I think the key to being a bust, let's call it a Bowman bust, is that. Your cards were selling for, you know, three to four hundred dollars, and you basically didn't even really get a full season in the majors. Okay, so it, it will, look, but what would the price have to end at then? So if you're paying four hundred dollars, and now if it's below a hundred, he's a bust. Bubba Starling. Yeah, his, Bubba his, Starling. his his autos were. I think you sold a gold for like four to five hundred bucks, right? That's one for eight hundred. Eight hundred dollars. You sold a gold 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 first Bowman refractor auto for 800 bucks i'm pretty sure you can buy that same card now for well or like probably uh, yeah, 50, 50, bucks. 50 bucks yeah yeah easily easily so and i would probably I would, sitting up there by now i would consider that a bust yeah and fervent thanks for the link uh coming up after the show is brand new diamond kings now we're talking about baseball we gotta wait a week for bowman but you know what we got today diamond kings you know who's in that vlad eloy tatis babe ruth and we're doing random team at thirty one ninety nine. Coming up next, there's only ten spots left, guys. All cards ship. So, um, oh, in, oh, honors. Is that a little honors action? C Rad, a uh, little impromptu honors, which is coming out on Friday. And um, thanks for the reminder because they I didn't. They I, didn't I, I'm totally focused on baseball. I don't, today. I don't even know why you're talking about. They didn't make any of it. What you're seeing right there, that th this is the only the only box they have. The only box this is the, the only case. This is the only case. That oh, existed. is this a preview of it? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. This is my. You're gonna get is that Reggie reaction. White? Oh, my God, they got a Randy Moss. And these are originals that are slabbed and graded. Oh, my God, they got a Patty Mahomes original in there. Eli Manning, Phillip Rivers, Todd Gurley. These are all in the product as originals. They're not – They're not. Uh, they graded them? Yeah. They didn't do that last time. Or they bought them graded. Andrew Luck, 8-5. Mm. Crazy. So those are – yeah, these are going to be the – like what honors is, is it's a it's – a, so what uh, the essence of honors football is it's a lot of it. And I don't know if they're doing it the same exact way this year is that they, every set they make, they have replacement cards so that if your card got damaged in, in shipping, they have a couple versions of the replacement. So for what honors does, they wait for those replacements to kind of expire. And then they take those cards and then they stamp them one of one or two of two in this instance, like they had two Peyton Mannings and that's how they make honors. And uh, we love honors. We love 2016 honors. 2018 honors football comes out on Friday, guys. So get your spots. We're doing random group style. So if you like the uh, the Browns, you get into group one, and you have a one in eight chance of getting the Browns. Um, so that's this Friday, guys. 
Um, yeah, Reggie White, Jeff. Isn't that crazy? Reggie White autos. Right? Rest in peace. Um, so it's going to be sick, and uh, we're probably only going to be doing breaks for like two days on it because we're going to be it's going to be gone until we buy it. Man, this is, uh, is going to be fun. It is going to be insane. So um, Rebe- really, Re- really. Rebecca uh, Black said it the best. Ooh, Rich Gannon. Fun, 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 fun. So <laughs> honors football this Friday, guys. Get your spots. Um, very, very limited. Um, stuff's going to be. Uh, Calvin Johnson? Yeah, Calvin Johnson. It's crazy. Len Dawson? No way. <laughs> Dak. <laughs> Clay Matthews? Man, that's a big gallery they put out here, huh? If, if you're listening to the podcast version, guys, go ahead and check it out on Panini's blog. Oh, uh, Cooper Cup, Panini, one of one. Panini posted preview cards from the pack out process, and there's some some just some straight up ridiculous cards. So I would check it Show out. Show me that Joe Theismann. <laughs> oh, you know, yeah. you know you got you know they got some left over. I know. Yeah. Jimmy Johnson 101. Dude, they should have bought back the Cooks to 99 and had those signed. Just just that'd be that would be amazing. That would be amazing. I don't think to that, 99. I, see, I think I think we look at that and we're like this is that's iconic and funny and whatnot. I think Panini looks at that and goes, "We don't want to talk about that. That's we nobody they don't want to be associated with anything that has to do with the scammer." Yeah. So they're not going to want to poke fun at no, it. No, they should. They should, though. No, they, they shouldn't, though. We, we all take ourselves way too seriously. I do. I take... You think this is a joke? <laughs> you think this is funny? <laughs> take it seriously. Now, what do you think about these? See, my, these downtowns are awesome, but I don't think they should have an auto on them. They're a but little busy. Fine. Yeah, a little bit busy. You know what would look better on it? A sticker. Would it? <laughs> it says no one ever. It says no one ever. <laughs> Well, what the, what was that? Was what, somebody saying no. What was that? What was it from? Where'd you like when you had to download that? What did it say? It said this. I know the human being and fish can coexist peacefully. <laughs> that, was that dub? I think it was. Was that W? Or somebody sounded like dude. W. This is the most droopies I've ever seen in my life. That's a lot of droopies. Everybody get that. He's the new Joe Theismann. Star Wars, Jeff says. That's good. It's good knowledge. All right. Well, before we end the show, we've got, we got some Diamond Kings to, to break. And we haven't really talked about basketball. And there was Matt a, Bush. It, Matt Bush made it. There was a he huge, made it in honors. <laughs> he made it. That's a lot. <laughs> Matt Bush in honors. There was a huge moment last night, unfortunately overshadowed by Tragic Bronson. But <laughs> Dwayne Wade, Nowitzki, our last game. I mean, I, 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 was in, I was watching the end of the Heat game. I was almost in tears. I mean, seeing, you know, Dwayne Wade talk about his teammates. Were and, you? I, I seriously was. Really? I'm a grown man that has kids, and I and I cry now for certain events. And wow, I, you know, so I, you know, I was holding back the tears. It was it was epic. I mean, this guy's you know, oh three, oh four. I mean, it was you know, great career. So my question to you guys: If you were drafting an all time team, who do you take first between Dwayne Wade and Dirk Nowitzki? Well, I I, I had to primes? get one of them because we're just talking about them too. I take Wade. I guess I take I take. Take Dirk off the off the bench, my sixth man. I would take Wade. I think I'd Wade Wade. uh, Wade's a little flashier. Uh, he's got more rings. Um, more clutch. Yeah, more clutch. Um, it had way more talent on every team he's been on, besides recent. But he won one without LeBron. So only he, one, and so did so did Dirk. Yeah, but Dirk won one. And so did so did Wade. No, Wade won three <laughs> without 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 LeBron. He won one. Well, you won. So because you got LeBron, you throw that out the window. So I can guarantee you, if you would have put Wade on the same team as Nowitzki, who won who won his title, they would they wouldn't have won. But LeBron only has one without Wade. Whatever. <laughs> I. They needed each I would. Other. I would. Over those two, I'd go Dirk. Yeah, he had Shaq, but Shaq was Shaq was you know donut Shaq at that time. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't dumb. He was. He was a force. Well, I mean, he still was a force. He helped, he helped win, but Dwayne Wade Dwayne Wade carried Shaq. Don't don't get it don't get it twisted. He yeah, that was Shaq. like one of the best uh, seasons ever. Was that, that, that was one that of the season. best finals run? He probably ever. had he probably had Udonis Haslam. He was well, probably on yeah, the team. UD, dude, Dwayne Wade that finals was unbelievable. Yeah, that, that was... first one. I mean, I'm not taking anything away from Dirk. It's neck and neck, and that's why I'm having the conversation. Whatever I mean, you you love you love Wade. Day County. I, I do. I, dude, Dirk. What's that video of uh, with the, which uh, uh, the the girls announcing Wade after uh, the Heat won the title, and they they were naming it Dwayne Wade Day, but she said like, "We're naming it Wade Jones." <laughs> and it, it was like a it, it was like somebody that worked for the mayor. Or she was like the mayor or something. She's all, "We're dedicating this day to Wade Jones." <laughs> you know, and and Dirk only played for one team. 
Yeah. Dwayne Wade bounced around a little yeah, bit there at the kinda, end. Kinda, he kinda did. He did. He was for like try, for like a year and a half. He's like trying to find a locker somewhere. Somebody would take him in. Hey, Pat Riley forced him out of Miami. That's yeah, that happened. that is true. Dirk Dirk didn't even play when he were here when he was young. I mean, he 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 was in Germany. So Dirk played his whole career with one team. He is he is the Mavericks. Yeah, very true. Yeah, they're, they're, he he's the face. He's I mean, like, you think of if you think of the Miami Heat. I mean, do you? I think of Dwayne Wade. Yeah, of, I mean, it's it's a Dwayne Wade, Ronnie Cycli. You know, it's <laughs> you go back and forth. It's it's close. You're right. Gary Payton did win his ring in the, on the Heat. Thank you, Gary. You did. Oh, gee. Man, you like had to set yourself up for that one. <laughs> no, was, actually, hey. Max did. I'm not. He said it right there. So <laughs> he he uh, he was the segued me in just to. No, I'm not. You think I'm just here, just like. No, just I mean, waiting. Yeah, you are. You're just. You're like, man. <laughs> you're. All, I need at least. Drop I need at least fifty <laughs> fifty drops in the one hour show. Yeah, I actually have only done like three or four today. So three I've, or four I've really, too many. I've reserved myself. Nowitzki stretches the floor better. Very true. Look, dude, I, I like Dirk as much as anybody else, but Dwayne Wade edges him a little bit. You know what? I'm just – look how much taller Dirk is. He wins. Dirk Dirk, Dirk is <laughs> an all-time player. Dwayne now, Wade. whose card would you rather hold on to forever? Dirk. Dwayne Wade. Dirk. Now, whose cards sell better? Probably Dirk's, right? Dirk. Dirk a little, yeah. Dirk. So that goes against the white guy theory, though, right? Who's got a cooler name to say? Dirk. Dwayne Wade. Dirk. D. Wade. D Wade? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's they're both phenomenal players, once in a generation players. I don't, I don't know, man. Like, you don't see players like Dirk Nowitzki. You you do see players like Dwayne Wade. Not really. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Well, they got they got his son Luca playing now, so I mean, there's just another generation of him. Ba- Baby Dirk. Baby Dirk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dirk is a hobby fave. I don't. Why does Dwayne Wade not get as much hobby love as he deserves? I don't know why, because he came out the same year as LeBron. Is that what it is? He kind of got overshadowed. He was second fiddle that year. He's always been second. Even on his day, he's second. Because if, if you're not first, you're last. <laughs> Even though they had the same amount of championships. Dwayne spells his name wrong. So, <laughs> 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 Who's got the hotter wife? I don't know. Actually, I haven't seen the Oh, well, I know Gabrielle Union. I don't know what Dirk's wife looked like. I, but Dirk, Dirk was also like restructuring his contract to stay with the Mavericks. Yeah. Like He's just a good dude. Yeah, Mark Cuban. I mean, he had a really nice, heartfelt uh, little speech about. Yeah, I mean, let's let's just give it to Dirk. I can't vote for Das German. <laughs> <laughs> um, lastly, I mean, what did you guys think about the Laker news yesterday? I mean, uh, Magic Johnson, which I thought was extremely in poor taste on this night. I know it's obviously has nothing to do with the Lakers, but why couldn't he just wait until the final game is over of the season? Could and he have to come in and piss on these guys' day. Because that fool didn't want to be fired with the rest of the coaching staff. That's why. You think he was, Nah, dude, he would have never. He had another year. You can't. Nobody nobody fires Magic Johnson. Nah, he was about to get his ass fired. Dude, he, no. I don't, think, I don't think he wanted. I don't think he had the stones to have to fire Luke Walton. So he quit that, instead. That so, he, so he quit instead. That too, yeah. He, pro- he probably was why? like, "Why, like Luke Walton, untouchable because of his dad?" No, just because maybe, maybe he doesn't like, you know, maybe he doesn't like confrontation. Maybe he like, maybe he's never had to fire a coach. Maybe. I don't think he actually has had to fire a coach. He probably yeah. hasn't had to fire anybody. Yeah, so he was like, "I rather just go back to." Dodger Stadium and watch them. But why do it last night though? Like why it was it, it almost feels like it was a knee jerk reaction. Like maybe we'll hear the story. Like maybe him and Palinka were having a meeting and he's like, you know what? F you, I'm gonna go quit right now. Like it just doesn't sound like it's something that's like you think about. It seems like I think, I'm hella pissed and I'm doing this right I now. I think I think magic with the Lakers is absolutely untouchable. I think if he was going to get fired, they would basically talk him into resigning. So maybe that's what happened. Maybe they're like, hey, we don't want to fire you because you're magic yeah. and you are Showtime Lakers, so why don't you just quit? Maybe that's what happened. Maybe. Maybe that's what happened. We don't know. Do you know magic? Or, or I don't like, know magic. I wasn't, I'm not in the boardroom. Here's my conspiracy theory that I know it's not going to happen, but it's just like it would be kind of funny. President because, LeBron? Well, LeBron, <laughs> Dwayne Wade just retires, right? So now Dwayne Wade, he's, he's VP. He, he, oh, come on. But he's just a figurehead. Because LeBron's just running the team, right? So he gets Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh, no. front office GM. So this is what's going to go down with the Lakers. They're going to they're gonna fire Luke Walton and the whole coaching staff. The coach is going to be LeBron. VP is going to be LeBron. 
Present's going to be LeBron. Usher's going to be LeBron. <laughs> uh, ticket box office is going to be LeBron. Everything's going to be LeBron. They're actually going to change the name of the stadium from Staples Center to LeBron Stadium. LeBron Stadium. <laughs> You know, it, it wouldn't surprise me. It, I'd be like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. He may be, he may be the first ever player, player president. Player president. <laughs> I'm not only a player, I'm the president. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not only a member. I mean, he, let's face it, he does that anyway. He makes all the decisions for his franchise anyway. Right. It's, it's whatever, whatever LeBron wants to do. And, not, and that's why I love him. I'm a big LeBron fan. I think they should just give him the team. Give him the team. Just give him the team. Do we have anything left in uh, Diamond Kings? I actually I spoke at a turn that was a cycle that we linked up. Do we have anything left in Diamond Kings? No, that's been, that one's been sold off for a long okay. time. So we're just ranting, and you guys are like, "Where's my random?" But um, yeah, I just thought it was an interesting conversation to talk about uh, Magic. We'll see what happens. Uh, Who wins the Rookie Lakers of the Year? Or organization, Trey Young. What? Hmm? No, 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 no. But you, but you love Luca. No, I have Pizza Boy. I don't know. No, you, <laughs> you can't, you can't switch. You've been talking about. Hey, it doesn't all, matter all that both of se- you guys like Trey Young because Luca's gonna win anyway. No, all season, probably, probably all is. season, Doug's been like Luca this, Luca that. I bought a Luca shirt. I love Luca, 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 Luca. And I've been like, this this one guy, Trey Young, is pretty good. He's gonna be a top five player in the league. Nah, you're you're dumb. You don't know what you're talking about. Like Dennis Smith. He's now now you're like he's gonna win Rookie of the Year. Well, and I will. So you it's know. a good thing I did all the work for you. Like Lonzo. <laughs> like like not well Lonzo. There's still a chance. We'll see. <laughs> to win rookie of the year? No, not at all. <laughs> not that at all. He's got to stay healthy. Maybe stay healthy. Maybe one of the other uh, balls can come and win rookie of the year. Maybe maybe Lavar will be the coach next well, year. Well, you got uh, no President Lavar. Yes. And hey, then pre- you pre- have you have the all ball family with yes. Bron, with Bron. Hey, yeah. did you, Bron you guys- actually, and then Bron son. So double Bron and some ball. <laughs> It's a Bron ball. <laughs> you guys say Lavar Bron ball. Lavar ball said Leangelo is uh is stronger than Zion. And he would go over Zion in, oh, in this year's draft. Christ. Oh my God! I know I'm loved, but that much is. I know I'm loved. <laughs> what? Busta, what's going on, man? I don't even know what we're talking about. I lost. I lost. <laughs> Dwayne Wade. His name. It? It's Busta. Busta. It's Luca. Thank you, Wade. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I got you. <laughs> a little slow today. I'm a little slow today after uh, all my Bowman excitement. All right, well, guys, we got to get into uh, some Diamond Kings random. So we'll uh, jump into the random here, guys, and we'll see you next week on Hype 88. Uh, peace out, everybody. And that's it. Thanks for watching this episode. Visit mojobreak.com for more info and your break spot. And we will see you next time on 